Is this photo claiming to show a woman hugging a deer for real? Or are we just looking at some sort of Photoshop forest fantasy? I've got the answer to that puzzling question, plus the answers to a whole bunch of creepy and monstrous stories that you guys have been asking me about. Today we're going to get up close and personal with a wolf-human hybrid called the Michigan Dogman, a giant sea creature with hair like a shaggy dog called the Tronco Sea Monster, a photo claiming to show an alien creature found in Mexico, and that doesn't even include our big story this week about a terrifying demon with blade-like claws known simply as the Rink. Hey guys, Phil here. You know, a few years back, the internet exploded with creepy tales and alleged sightings of a mysterious midnight killer. But before I go too far today, I just want to let you guys know that this episode of Real or Fake is going to be delving into some pretty creepy stuff. So you parents with very young children or older people that are sensitive to these subjects, you might want to think twice before continuing on. The rake is tall and grotesquely thin with a blank face and a straight line mouth. Some have claimed that it stalks its victims in the middle of the night, haunting their dreams, driving them to madness and suicide. But others say the malevolent creature known as the rake is just another internet hoax, an elaborate web of anonymous postings with no real evidence to back it up. This argument is no doubt why my inbox is full of people like Chudnovsky, Jack Hayden, Volt Jolt and many others asking, Hey Bill, is the rake real or a big fat fake? A quick search of the internet reveals tales of the rake by literally hundreds of people in online forums. There are dozens of videos on YouTube, including one from a broadcast news channel showing this, the most famous picture of the rake. Combing through the stories, we find everything from a woman in upstate New York claiming the rake killed her husband and daughter, to a guy in Canada who says he found the rake waiting for him in his pickup truck. A tattoo artist told of being attacked by the rake at a Catholic boarding school on Monsters and Mysteries. There are also historical accounts going as far back as 1691 when the rake allegedly attacked a British boat. Now to be sure, none of these stories are backed by any reliable documentation. But what I found surprising was the total lack of evidence proving the rake is fake. In fact, there's a real life pastor of a real life church in Pennsylvania that claims the rake is real. The concept goes back to the times of ancient Egypt. So basically 4,000 years. In an interview on Monsters and Mysteries, Pastor Swope said the rake is a 21st century manifestation of the same persona that has been haunting this world for centuries. I think it was right about this time I realized I was in a bit over my head. So what I did was I turned to my A-team, the Chewy Piranhas. They tore into this subject like a hungry pack of red bellies, and it wasn't long before we had this, the official answer. But if you watch this show, you know not even the rake can force me to tell you what's in here before you tell me what you've got going on up there, okay? Now, when I say go, what I want you to do is yell out as loud as you can, either real or fake. Now, if you can't do that, it's okay to pause the video, go to the comment section, leave your answer there, and then come back here and play the rest of the video to see if you're right or not. A third way to go is just to vote right up here. You ready? Let's go. Okay, did you vote? Good, because in just a few minutes, we're gonna be revealing what's in the official envelope. But before I do that, we're gonna take a look at a couple other very creepy creatures that you guys have sent in. First up is this photo claiming to show the elusive Michigan Dogman, a bizarre wolf-like creature that is said to appear in Northern Michigan on July 7th of the seventh year of each decade. The photo was sent in by Ultimate Sock who said, 
I would really like to see you put this case to rest. I, I don't know what the hell it was, but it was big. It looked like a great big dog. I was standing up. Was it a bear, maybe? Maybe, I... Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Wow, that's pretty scary stuff, huh? Does this mean there's a terrifying wolfman stalking the woods of northern Michigan? Well, Ultimate Sock, you know, I hate to burst your bubble or crumble your cookie, but this photo is officially fake. The truth is, the legend was originally created by singer-songwriter Steve Cook in 1987 when he created a song called Dog Man as an April Fool's joke. Ever since then, hoaxers, pranksters, and people with big imaginations have been working overtime to turn the legend into reality. Next, we have this strange picture sent in by Lonely Llama, who said, It's called Trunko, and I'm not sure if it's real or fake. Lonely Llama, I've actually been following this story for a long time, and I can tell you it's been perplexing experts for decades. But according to paleontologist Darren Nash, Trunko is nothing more than a big fat faker. This photo is one of four known images of the Trunko monster that were originally published in the London Daily Mail way back in 1924. The animal was reportedly first seen off the coast of South Africa battling two killer whales and at times flying 20 feet into the air. Eyewitnesses described the animal as looking like a giant polar bear with thick white fur. They also claimed it had a trunk like an elephant. But scientists later proved it was nothing more than a badly decomposed dead whale. Here are some other images of dead whales in the same state of decomposition. And finally, we have this picture claiming to show a possible alien known as the Metapec creature. It was first sent in by Jackson Kennedy and Ken Konecki, who both wanted to know if it's a Photoshop creation. Guys, the first thing I can tell you is that this picture is not Photoshopped. And the second thing I can tell you is that the creature in the photo is... So, so fake, fake! It's, it's funny! funny. In reality, it's a monkey that was sent to a taxidermist from a local zoo in Mexico. Urso Ruiz, the taxidermist, later confessed his prank saying, it's just the corpse of a skin squirrel monkey. I took its ears out and infused it with all the hair and fluids of all the animals I could find, then I dried it out. Ruiz then placed it in an animal trap for fun, but when people saw that, they believed it was real and the story exploded. Television documentaries were made with animated recreations. Ow! Expensive scientific studies were performed and 3D images created. But it was all for naught. Why did he do it? Well, the $23,000 he got from a UFO researcher for it might have something to do with it. Okay, so what do you say we get back to our big story this week, which is the rig? And I know a lot of you guys want to know what the answer is for this because I happen to know that a lot of people do have nightmares and the rake does make an appearance. So this is important information and I'm glad we have a final determination on it. Here we go. The team has examined a variety of data related to the creature known as the rake. This includes various photographs, drawings, and written text. Based on all the information collected, we have reached a decision. And the decision is, are you ready? Here we go. 100%, without a doubt, and beyond any question, fake. That's actually kind of relief because, you know, it's good to know that something like that out there can't actually physically harm you. But hey, if you're looking around for another video to go watch right now, I wouldn't do that because, hey, don't you want to know how you did in the voting on the girl who's hugging the deer? Remember that one? Well, I'm going to give you the answer to that in just a second. But first, I want to share with you some of the exclusive details of how we proved El Reiko is a fakeo. Thanks to my research team, the Chewy Piranhas, and specifically researcher Shelby Leon, we learned the rake came into being on an internet platform called 4chan in 2005. It was here that one post suggested the group come up with a new monster, and it grew from there. 
The first rake story was posted by Something Awful user Brian Somerville on July 20th, 2006. It was fiction, of course, but furthered the idea of the rake to other sites like LiveJournal, Creepypasta, and Tumblr, just to name a few. Then there was this, the picture that came to represent the rake. It was first seen on a television news station. Okay, so you know how we ask you to send in your pics so we can put them in our newscast? Well, you've got to see what one viewer claims his friend found at a hunting camp in Berwick. The guy who sent it in didn't want us to mention his name, but tells us this is totally for real. Now, the next time you think something is real just because it was on the news, remember this. This picture that the guy sent into the news originally came from a first-person shooter game called Resistance 3. In the game, the creature is called Grim, but a guy named Hillbilly Willie did some Photoshop manipulation of Grim and then presented it on a hunting forum like this. He said it was a creature accidentally captured by his trail camera. Now, not long after that, people began to post the picture as the rake, and over time, people forgot about the original hunting picture. I was, at, I was here at midnight looking at that image by myself going, <laughs> oh my gosh, anyways. <laughs> Okay, well that's all the time I have for this video. I'm gonna be giving you the answer to that girl hugging the deer in just a second. But first I wanna send out a big thanks to all you guys for sending in photos and videos. Also wanna send a big thanks to the Chewy Piranhas. And hey, don't forget, if you've got a picture or a video and you're not quite sure whether it's real or not, send it in to me at billschannel at gmail.com and I'll take a look. Please don't leave links or suggestions in the comment section because if you do, monsters will invade my head and make me start screaming, you're driving me crazy! See you next time. Now, about that photo of a woman who looks like she's dressed for a formal occasion, standing in the middle of the forest with her arms wrapped around a deer. It turns out this is not Photoshop, guys. That's a real woman and a real deer. But it's all staged by a professional photographer named Katerina Plotnikova. So for our purposes, it's technically fake.